So I went to my, uh, the dean of my school and I said, could I do a sub-major in design? And she said, why on earth would you want to do a sub-major in design when you're studying computer programming? I started back in the early 1990s when I was at university. I studied computer science. Uh, computer science didn't really relate to or involve visual effects or computer graphics that much at the time. And honestly, I didn't know it existed, but the last two topics in my course, the two electives, were in computer graphics. And a friend of mine was working in uh, computer graphics in the industry, and he brought in some, uh, a music video that he'd created. In, uh, in CG and showed it to us as an inspiration and I just couldn't help but wonder and think how on earth was this made, how it was created, it, it looked fantastic and I just had to know how it was done and studying computer graphics I knew that I could recreate those effects so that launched my interest. I think that and the fact that I didn't want to go into database programming. <laughs> Remember, visual effects is a storytelling tool. Visual effects is a filmmaking, a TV series making tool. And it's there to help the director to help to suspend the audience's disbelief so that they don't sort of, what they're watching, they're really into it. The moment anything sort of throws your sense of disbelief, the moment you go, ah, that doesn't look particularly good, you lose interest in the story, you lose interest in what you're watching. So. Success for us is very much about making it work within a certain context. Well, both working on small films and big films are very rewarding, but rewarding in totally different ways. The, the big films, you get that satisfaction of a very high prestige end product uh, that's going to be seen by millions and millions of people and that's the thing you need to keep reminding yourself your work will be seen by millions of people which is great whereas small budget films you know it may not be seen by as many people but it can be very satisfying working with a much smaller team uh, it's, it's more direct connection with your team and with the output so it's um, uh, equally satisfying in that regard The key challenge here was, in the test work at least, was to make it as realistic as humanly possible. All these little details, the head movements, the ears, the flick of the head, the nose, even the nostrils flaring as it breathes, all very important. Absolutely, I think because libraries, and I love libraries, I've always loved libraries ever since I was a kid. To me, libraries are just, vast repositories of information and what we do uh, in computer graphics and visual effects involves a lot of research, a huge amount of research in fact in all different aspects of life from motion to how things look to how things appear and all of this information uh, can be found in libraries and so the, the research aspect of what we do still heavily depends on these resources. Yeah. work in this industry you have to have passion, you've got to love what you do. You're going to work a lot of long hours and you're going to be up against tight deadlines so you've got to absolutely love what you're doing. And you've got to have a real passion for making beautiful images, a passion for making things look great. You need to be very focused on what you're doing, you need to really stick at it to make it work. I would advise them to be very persistent always keep trying to get into the industry, always be very patient. I would develop your technical and artistic abilities as much as you can and combine these together because that makes the ultimate artist, the ultimate visual effects or computer graphics artist. Mm -hmm.